Told you what to chase, told you how to run the race. Every move is on the page, but I didn't like it. Mm, it doesn't look good to me. Okay guys, this is not exactly what I expecting for. The visibility is around uh, 40 meters. So it's not it's not uh, it's not good. So uh, I think uh, I'm going to stay a little bit on, on my car and uh, waiting uh, for uh, the mist uh, to disappear. Let's see what happened. Okay guys, one and a half hour inside this car. Finally, uh, the conditions are a little bit better in this moment. As you can see, we have a little bit more visibility, but still we don't have uh, so much light. Uh, so it's this is not the the best conditions to, to use a telescope. <laughs> you bad things, what could go wrong? What fame brings by? Okay, finally the conditions are a little bit better, so now I'm going out and uh, I have with me also the 600mm f4, so I will do a little bit of uh, comparisons and tests, so uh, let's go out and see what happened. We are ready. I I I prepared all the equipment. So now let let me see uh, how this koa performs on the field. This is uh, the first test, a real test. So I'm very curious. <laughs> place where they told you what to chase told you how to run the race every move was on the page but i didn't like their way had to fight and misbehave had to find a way to change had to leave to find my way I caught up in a daydream i be in my mind up there almost daily it's how i pass time no opinions safely it's how i understand what i want in this place because everybody want to tell you bad things what could go wrong what fame brings but success is a finicky thing and if you ain't sure no it'll never be i don't want to let myself down. Okay guys, as you can see, these are the worst conditions to try a setup like this with uh, so much magnification power because as you can see there, there is a lot of mist and uh, also with this condition, with my eyes on the telescope, I see a lot of details, much more compared to my 600mm f4 but uh, the image quality compared with uh, uh, the R5 and the 600mm plus extender is a little bit wo worse in this case because uh, I'm, I'm doing photos with my smartphone and uh, the iPhone with uh, uh, the much, more, much smaller sensor um, struggles a little bit with uh, these low light conditions anyway the image quality is quite quite similar even uh, uh, with the with this mist and uh, with uh, a smartphone so i'm very curious to see how does it perform when i will attach my r5 to this thing caught up in a daydream i be in my mind up there almost daily it's how i pass time no opinions safely it's how i understand what i want in this place because everybody want to tell you bad things what could go wrong what fame brings but success is a finicky thing one thing that i do really like of all this uh, thing is that I don't even need a camouflage on myself I can simply stay sit on the ground I'm at a distance from the animals so they they are not shy they are not uh, disturbed by by my presence so uh, I really like this kind of approach to nature and uh, I can wait for better conditions to really test this uh, setup because I confirm that uh, from from the first impressions uh, the limit here is the the iPhone because uh, all with all these kind of automatic settings the iPhone struggles a lot with this kind of uh, light conditions and fog so 
the R5 in this case uh, has a lot of edge but uh, the resulting images are quite similar in my opinion okay guys I'm I'm back on my car uh, because uh, the mist uh, is is even worse than before so the visibility is uh, almost uh, is almost uh, absent and uh, in these conditions uh, there is no sense to continue to stay at uh, this cold i got some consider some first impressions for you because this was the first uh, real test on the field and um, it pretty confirms my first uh, impressions so in my opinion with the scope is, are visible a lot more details that with the combination of the 600 millimeters f4 plus 2x extender and uh, canon r5 with the scope uh, with naked high i was able to see a lot much uh, things and um, for me in this con this kind of conditions with mist fog and uh, uh, zero visibility uh, the real uh, game changer uh, was uh, the, the sensor size because the iphone with uh, the smaller sensor and uh, the automatic settings uh, was almost impossible to to get uh, grid captures because it, it struggles a lot with uh, these uh, low light conditions uh, but anyway the in also with these conditions the the images were pretty close so definitely i think that with clear hair and so the possibility uh, to to push the scope uh, to its limits it's fine it's uh, definitely possible to to achieve better results and uh, to to go even with the the iphone to obtain better results than with the 600 millimeter so i'm pretty impressed and uh, i'm very happy for this because i was a little bit worried by uh, uh, regarding the the quality of uh, the scope uh, plus uh, a camera attached to the eyepiece but i think that there's that definitely an edge for improvement i can wait to to attach my r5 to the scope and see what uh, what kind of results uh, we can get now i'm turning back home because uh, i'm really hungry i want to eat something and uh, between uh, today and tomorrow the adapters uh, should arrive so i can't wait to to test them and see how they perform with the scope and um, thank you very much for the attention for today it's all and uh, see you soon in the next video bye bye